Hello and welcome to Be Open at New Hampshire. So, uh, it's a 6 a.m. race. Pretty interesting, but that means that we are single split and we have nine participants. I am struggling to find fields to run with right now. <laughs> but, uh, hold on a second, I actually want to adjust my brake bias. I'm going to have this at about 50, I think. Save that. Got all my <laughs> OSR setups in here, which is uh, exactly what this is again. Fly. Make sure that's all set up. Did that save? I hope that saved as the adjusted one. Okay, there. So, let's get out here and qualify. 50% brake bias. Because you want the car turning on these flat grounds of... New Hampshire. Very little banking. Ooh, did I I might have crossed the line there. Very tough pit exit here. It'll tell me in a second if I did. Green flag, green flag. Okay, well I got loose trying to do my run up. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> If I missed the line, which apparently I did. Let's not do that again. Got a real bad habit of doing that when I'm trying to do my run up for the qualifying lap. Sometimes that ends up being the hardest part. <laughs> so, let's uh, actually get a good run up this time. Green flag, green flag. That wasn't even good. Okay, you know what? Your first time lap. I crossed the line. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my gosh, I'm a disaster. This is. <laughs> At least they didn't give me a loss of control. Well, we have to do it in one lap now. I don't know what that was. I tried to stop before I got to the line, and I even slid it to the left, trying to, <laughs> trying to do it. I swear, this is all this is saving me is like half of a tenth too. And I still didn't even do it right there. Uh, I am my wo I am my own worst enemy. Okay, at least that was a good turn one and two. Mm, okay, three and four. Hey, an all-time best lap. I'll take that. I don't know how it stacks up. All right, stacks up okay, I guess. Uh, so a thirty point four twenty. Insert your wacky tobacky jokes here. Oh, but it actually says 3, 4, 21 on my last lap. That's interesting. Huh, it must have been like directly in the middle or something. Interesting, but it looks like we should be able to go now. Because uh, everyone's got the checkered flag next to their name. Oh, we've got this guy that's not here though. Did he lose connection or did he not show up? He's not shown up it looks like, so... Guess we'll have to wait just a moment. Pretty uh, happy with that time though. Um, not gonna run it quite as hard. Obviously, this is paranoid. I'm paranoid, so I'm gonna actually do that. Um, obviously, you don't want to run that hard during the race, but uh, it seems like the tires wear pretty evenly. Regardless, I mean, obviously, you're not gonna be able to see much from this, but uh, the rears will. Just always be burning off pretty pretty well here at New Hampshire, so. Because oh, when you when you get off the corners, it gets real loose if you're not careful with the throttle. So it might be alright. Let's see, I'm definitely just going to take it a little easier though, but hey, that's a pole. That's nice. Pole position. Nice one. That's a good one. Nice, good. 
Happy good. That was my be my optimal lap too. So apparently I did it right. All the uh, nonsense. <laughs> the first lap was all worth it. It wasn't. But uh, one lap to green. You'll be oh well. up on the yeah. inside. Is everyone closed? Pit road is closed. Oh, I thought everyone had already hopped in their cars. Like, whoa, that was fast. So it is an open race, so we will have our have crew chief ready to help us out. Hopefully it's a nice, straightforward dealio. Kind of hoping for that, because I feel like I have good pace, and I feel like it's going to only harm me if we have some weird strategy things going on. But uh, I guess I'll like it anyway. Even if it hurts me, I love a good strategy race. So, just got to pick the right one. Pick the right strategy. And uh, speaking of picking the right one, now I gotta figure out which gear is the uh, the start gear. Follow the pace car. This is my first race at New Hampshire this week in any car. A lot of people uh, kind of hate on New Hampshire, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I like uh, tracks that have you feathering the throttle. And uh, you certainly have to do that quite a bit, mid to late corner, and out of the corner, so. Hmm. I'm going to do second gear. I think uh, one, first gear is just uh, a little bit too shallow. Now to not miss my breaking point into turn one, as we're green. still getting up to speed. Okay, Alright, green, pretty good jump, I think. Can, uh, consider shifting. Not gonna do that, though. I feel like fourth gear is just fine, and using third gear only adds an element of error, human error, that can occur. Because it makes it even more slick, so just not going to bother with that. A little loose on exit, that's fine. Let's get that session last lap going, so that way I don't have to think too much about it. <laughs> get the... Uh, Brake bias getting us turned pretty good, hopefully. I really don't know the first thing about saving tires here, so I'm hoping that it's going to be okay, like I kind of theorize, but if it's not, then uh, I'll learn something that's worth more than whatever I rating decides to give me. Internet points. The guy behind has just done a I think I'm over driving at the moment. I'll back it down a little bit. That time specifically, I know I uh, overdrove entry, which I think in general I am as well. So you're in the lead. Try to be a little easier. Uh, get on the throttle on exit. watching this number one obviously he's gonna be our biggest competitor most likely sure he knows something I don't it's usually how it goes hit window open is that right seems pretty early Interesting. Now it's still calibrating too, so that might not be uh, so accurate, but we'll find out. Already starting to feel a bit tighter, so I probably am overdriving it. That lap time was 30.8. Number one's coming up on us. He'll probably pass us and then uh, 
probably learn something from watching him. I got 12 to 1 on my steering ratio, because I expected a lot of uh, slide catching, catching slides. Oh, I overdrove that real bad. I wasn't on the brake hard enough. I kind of diamond it though, it should be okay. Oh. What was I saying? Oh yeah, 12 to 1. Um. Thought I'd be catching a lot of slides, but now I'm kind of worried that uh, maybe it'll be a little harsh on the tires. Uh, if I can't stop myself from using the wheel too much. We'll see though. Ugh, overdriving so bad. Try to be aggressive on the throttle at least, so that way it, uh, it's more even. What's that darn water temperature? I know that it's the crew chief is a little bit too uh, concerned about the water temp and stuff, but I actually, during practice beforehand, in the open practice session, I ran a longer run and it started flashing on the dash. And that's the part, where, the point where I get really concerned. So, uh, I did lower it. It was at like 75, I think. Moved it on down to, uh, I think it's at 70 now. So, hopefully it'll be okay. We're not really in dirty air or anything, like heating up because there's cars around us, so I don't have to worry about that at the moment. I'll fight through the loose. I'll be good for it. Pretty good on pace though. We got a couple seconds back to third place. So even if the number one overtakes us, I'm still feeling pretty good. Great setup by OSR. Really love the way it feels. It may be free setups, but uh, doesn't always mean they're bad. Get some gems in here sometimes. We'll uh, it remains to be seen how this ends up going in the long run, but I'm very happy with it so far. Fun to drive. That was a bad corner. Ooh, I might start shifting if it gets too tight. Maybe that would be good on the rears too, anyway. Maybe I should be doing that. Ooh, he's coming up on us. But we're gonna fight it. Gotta fight for the lead. It's not like I'm falling off real hard. I'm just uh, a little cons inconsistent with my lines and stuff. Don't feel like it's because of the car. It's because of the operator. So I'll continue to overdrive it probably. <laughs> Maybe we'll pit about halfway, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel this small. There's a good chance it goes green all the way, so... Ooh, got loose on the exit there. Too loose. A little too sideways, that's not good for it. Uh, good for my runoff and uh, speed, anyway. Still feeling okay though, but it is still just uh, up 15. The thing is, if you overdrive the corner here, at the very least you can uh, kind of diamond it and still get a run off. It's pretty interesting what you can do at this track. I don't want to make a habit of 
between the diamond line because I think that's going to be bad on the tires, but... It saved me from having a really bad corner, at least. So we got someone with the blue lettering lap down. Looks like they, uh... Looks like we're actually just catching them there. Having some trouble with pace, maybe. Maybe they hit the wall or something, got damaged, I don't know what it was, but uh, that's interesting. I didn't expect to see one so someone so soon. If I can speak properly. So soon. It's gonna be hard to pass, that's for sure. Haven't seen anything crazy from the number one, like they're gonna dive it in or anything. So they probably will have a hard time passing. Not sure how they're gonna have to go about it. Kinda glad that they have to pass me instead of me having to pass them because maybe I can learn how to do it if uh, he gets by me. Lots of fun though, I love counter steering out of the corner like that. It's a fun little balancing act. You know, I, I think I do, I want to say I do like New Hampshire. I think the part that makes me question it is the way it gets raced sometimes. It's like sometimes when you're back in the pack, guys will be just diving it in low and then expecting it to stick but it doesn't because no banking and then they just come up and hit you and you just get lots of dive bombs here and that's the part I don't like but that's not really the track's fault that's the people that are racing it so I want to say I do like New Hampshire just uh, sometimes it can be frustrating because of the way people race it that's probably my verdict on it I wonder how my tires are doing. I still feel okay. I mean, clearly wearing, but uh, still doesn't feel bad. It's not plowing or anything, and I'm still uh, getting a decent grip out of the corner. Uh, this guy's just hounding us, though. I'm wondering if he's just uh, matching our pace, letting us... Uh, overdrive or something and then we'll uh, take us out and someone has a higher number than me my assumption always is they're doing something smarter than I am <laughs> and they're gonna find a way to beat me wherever they happen to be on the track that's generally my assumption and it's usually a pretty good assumption to have because they did not get that higher number the higher uh, high rating number than me by accident so, typically there's something up their sleeve. So I will operate under that assumption continually. That was at 31.6. Let's see, we are on 23. So we're getting pretty far into it. About a quarter of it, I believe. Oh, we've got. Oh, he's going for a pass. He's not ready for that. I'll just take my normal line here. He was kind of going for it. Guess I'll have to watch out for that. Hmm. Okay, so maybe he was following behind, waiting for the moment to strike. Now I really gotta focus, cause I don't want to leave the door open too much. You've just done a oh, we drove it there. See, as soon as people start trying to race me, I start falling apart, huh? <laughs> That's not the way to be.
car inside. Clear. Oh, he's making it hard on me now. You've just done a 31.7. Mind myself. Make any mistakes because he's back there. Seems like he's just rolling on the rolling the mid corner on that lower line, which gets him a nose. But then when I'm on that higher line up here, I get the run off. So it's gonna make it hard for him to continue on past me unless I get nervous because of it, and then I don't get the run off very much. <laughs> Good battle though so far. Counter steer. Where lap times are compared to uh, the start of the race, they really don't feel like they've fallen off all too much. <gasps> Got loose. That's not what I wanted. Looks like he had trouble too, though, so at least there's that. That could have been a chance for him to get past me, but he was uh, a little bit back. He must have gotten loose or something, too. Maybe he burned his tires off a little bit trying to get past me. Not sure. You see how I got loose there and all that time it lost me. What's happening now? Now he's like a second back up with that. Let me check my all-time best. Yeah, we are well off the uh, all-time best. Wow, you, I didn't really feel it happening. It's generally slow, our not it? Yeah, on entry, I guess. <laughs> huh, weird. I can swear it's driving the same way. I guess that means it's a good setup, right? Feels like it's driving the same way. Ooh. Yeah, let me get loose on the straightaway trying to adjust my delta bar. Wow. I'm usually pretty good about not messing up because I'm doing things with the delta bar, but holy cow, that was bad. I gotta get my rhythm back here for a second before I start worrying about anything else. Also, lap traffic. That's happening too. Hopefully, it'll be good to us. Okay, they dove down to the inside. I thought they were spinning out for a second. <laughs> okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Ah, uh, okay. Jesus. Took me way too long to do that. do have to start being a little more careful on uh, throttle, on exit, it looks like. Starting to get a little bit more sketchy. The reason I wanted to look how far we were off on our all-time best, just kind of help decide if I want to go long uh, on this run, or if I want to come in a little earlier to pit. But uh, I think just split it right in half. That's probably the way I want to do it. I don't think there was a situation where I wanted to come in earlier. Or I was checking to see if do I want to uh, when I want to come in a halfway, or do I want to stay out a little longer just in case a caution does happen. The lap times weren't too crazy different. I probably would have. Uh, Pay attention to what this guy's doing. Ooh, scary. Okay, 
So, uh, if the lap times weren't too far off, I probably would have wanted to stay out a little longer in case we get the caution, but since uh, it does look like we're a solid second off, maybe. Then I will come in about uh, halfway. Assuming no cautions happen. Ooh, I overdrove that bad. Got the runoff a little bit, so we're okay. He's back, number one. In case you didn't notice, I'm getting bigger in my rear view. wonder if he's, he's dealing with tire heat or something. Maybe he backed off for a little bit so he could uh, make the tire heat. Cool down a little bit. Now he'll be back for another attempt to try to pass. Maybe that's the uh, thought process. Not sure. Maybe I'm just wildly inconsistent with my lap times. <laughs> That's also possible. Oh, weird corner. So halfway, we can't split it directly in half. So, uh, how about lap... 42... At 42, do that. Lap 43, do lap 43. <laughs> kind of, it's not going to make a big difference, but I'm just thinking about that. Getting on the brakes a little harder. We're going in on entry. Huh. And of course, if uh, he tries to undercut me, of course I'm going to pit the very next lap after he comes in. I still don't think I want to shift, even though the tires are more worn right now. Because, I mean, the rear tire is worn too. And that's just going to make it even more treacherous to get on the gas. So I just don't think it's necessary. I could be wrong. But I don't want to experiment with it right now. Not when I'm in the position I'm in right now. You've just done a 31.9. Overdrove, but we're okay. Pretty loose there. Even being dealt to get on the throttle, it is. This guy's not really getting out of the way. Outside. Clear up top. It kills my run off because I had to make sure I was down low. Still an okay corner though. We're gonna come in next time by probably. Good because he just came in. Put the correct amount of fuel in there. We're gonna get four tires. Hopefully he doesn't gain too much on us by or, uh, undercutting us like that. Now can I pit properly? That's pretty good. Fill you to the end of the race. We only need a tiny bit of fuel. All right, Colton, we're at the halfway point. We think about 38 laps of fuel left. Three, two, one. Box now. Don't want to lose the race on pit road. I'm so glad the leaders can hit and 
give me an opportunity to unlap myself. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> okay, that was weird. So there he is. He gained about a second on us, which makes sense because that's about how much... Uh... Let me focus. Sorry. That's about how much we lose each lap. We're losing each lap um, on those old tires. So that's not too much of a surprise. Could have come in a little sooner. Let's see if I can handle the second half of the race properly. But now we gotta pass him at some point, which is gonna be interesting. See what happens. Even if I finish second. It's cool, it's where I'm supposed to finish. Be disappointed to lose it, but. I don't think he had a better pit stop than me, maybe. Nah, he just gained a little bit. I think he's faster on these uh, new tires. I might not be pushing it hard enough, or maybe. He's decided that tire wear doesn't matter so much and it's gonna just uh, try to build as big a lead as he can. How's this comparing to our all-time best? So these are pretty cool, pretty close to our all-time bests here. Our time was 30.6. Maybe I shouldn't be doing? But that's also the speed that he's carrying, so... Hmm. We do have one lap fresher tires for what that's worth. The undercut was probably the play there. It's probably a very good idea. have one person that's uh, still out on their old tires. That lap was a I mean, theoretically, maybe you could make it on fuel. It was pretty close, but we're going to get, get them back just because we have tires. What were the tires? 74, 77. So we were harder on the right front, but not too much so. Not overly so. It didn't feel all that bad, so I'm okay with how we're running. Maybe I can even just be a little more uh, aggressive on throttle. Five's just hoping for that uh, mythical caution. I just don't think it's going to happen with this field this small. With uh, people that seem to be uh, spread out pretty far. Unless someone like spins it trying to do their pit stop or something. But... It's making me nervous a little bit. You see, when you shift back to fourth there, the extra run you get kind of just goes away. I don't think I want to do that. Give it a try though. See how it feels. But not so into it. The gap in front is now 2.0 seconds. 
Yeah, that was just losing our us time doing that for that lap. Kinda of catching up, but it's real slow. We might have been slain by the undercut here. Still time. Still gonna give it 110%. But that was a lot of time to lose through the pit process. Was Suppose I could have come in a little sooner. But if I do that, then he has the chance to stay out longer and then have better tires at the end. Also isn't so great for me. So I kind of just put a tough position there as the leader. The lap time was at 31.2. Throw that. <laughs> Alright, well, I tried to see if using third gear to help over driving the corner would help, but also don't do that there. That did not help at all. So I think the, the thing to do uh, to help when you overdrive the corner is to not overdrive the corner. That's probably the play. Lost uh, some time. They got too wide in front of them. Oh man, I'd be so mad. Oh man, they're not even fighting for position. That's not good for him. He lost about a half second because of that. Dang, that could be killer for him. Are the guys accidentally blocking? <laughs> oh my god. Now we gotta get through it though. Are we gonna fare any better? Inside. Keep high. Clear. Can't pass that guy, alright. To get past this number six, though, who didn't seem to be all that interested in making it easy for the lead lap guys. Okay, number five's still out here. Watch, this five's gonna win the race. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? It's falling pretty fast, though. A6 is hitting the wall straight away in front of me. I kind of pitched it sideways there by accident. Outside. Go low. Back off, man. Clear. Really, you're not going to back off? This guy doesn't know how to be lapped. Clear high. Not even fighting anyone, man. So, uh... lose a little bit of time there, but still not nearly as much as the one did. Nice. Gotta set a goal or something. 
got 20 something laps to go. It says I'm quickest at the moment. Not if I do that. Not if I do that. Oh, that sucked. Oh my god, that's killer. I got loose two separate times there. I got loose and then caught it and then got back on it too hard. Got loose again. That was not good. Shoot. frame drop there for a second. So the rears are unhappy. They will fight through it that time. But maybe be nicer to them. I should be. This number one is pulling away again. Should catch this uh, five pretty easy. It looks like he's actually. Oh, I thought he was coming into pit road because he was losing time so fast. <laughs> but nope, it's probably just the old tires. Actually, see him up there now. I'm trying, but one lap of tires does not equal the one point whatever seconds that he gained on us by undercutting. Plus, I've made some more mistakes this uh, this run. Second half of the race, getting loose some more uh, times. Hmm. Good effort by the uh, number five, though. Assuming he can make it on fuel, like, wasn't a terrible idea. Might work out. For him overall, even if he doesn't win the race, I don't know where he was running before, but he's still six seconds up, and we're gonna get there. But so I think he's gonna gain from that strategy. Seems like it worked out pretty well for him. So we need. Uh, I think at this point we're not gonna catch the one unless it's a mistake. It's possible. As these tires wear off, but not exactly likely. Someone that's uh, clearly very talented, so. I'm gonna put myself in the best position I can to capitalize if it does happen. But it's down low. It's the eight. Oh, fine. It's always the chance for a caution. Can't forget that, too. As unlikely as it is, it's still possible. Got some, uh, I mean, single split. We got some guys that are presumably newer in here. It isn't exactly easy to drive, especially if you get on the gas too hard out of the corner. I've gotten sideways a handful of times, obviously. So I'm not going to catch him unless I try something new. 
So let's try something new. the one corner and then it definitely did not work the nuts in the other corner maybe if I uh, practiced that and could do it consistently something would come of it but I mean we were up a tenth in the corner that one time I tried it doing a slider line <laughs> but and paved raising all right so got that lap let's see what our normal line is compared to right now to go. Okay, Colton, race pace. oh my gosh the rear tires are very very angry Gap to Perfetti behind is now 12 seconds oh not make the tires happy doing that crazy line, but I wanted to try something. That lap time was 32.0. Oh, maybe I should not have done that. The tires have lost all grip. I'm gonna be able to catch this five, right? Did I self-sabotage myself out of second place? I don't think so. He's pretty off. He's pretty, uh, struggling pretty hard. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the tires. Might have to. Is there a gear now? I can't get this thing slowed down. All of a sudden, I'm worried we're not going to catch this uh, in a second. Feel like a real dummy. If I can't run in this stupid line. Couldn't just been happy with my second place, huh? Gotta do this in five laps. Five to go. Maybe he'll run out of gas. And we gotta remember, he still has never pitted. Been able to save. 
Presumably he's uh, done enough to save to the end. Your lock time was 32.1. Need to stop doing third gear. I keep thinking I, it's necessary when I'm not getting the car to turn, but it only ever hurts. Oh, this thing is such a handful right now. Man, my second half of this race has been real bad. to gain and then I still have to pass him. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh the car is so loose. I want to gain my second spot so bad. I want to gain it back so bad. All right, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. car outside. That was a 52.1. Keep low. Push. Get second place. Oh. You've got one. Still there. Hold your line. Don't overdrive it. Still there. Clear outside. Car outside. Outside. Clear. Just trying to cross over. No, you can't. It's illegal. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. Great drive. That's a podium. There's the flag. Great racing. Good win. Good job. Very good Thank job. Thank you. Have to drive up, right? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations to the winner. Thank y'all. Good race. What did you say to y'all? That was the first one this week for me. <laughs> Yellow, green. You got me on that undercut, and number five almost got me by going the whole way. Watch your speed. That's pretty cool. Lots of different strategies. Have a good one, dude. Oh, very nice guys. Seems. Uh, so we did get our second place back. Had to fight real hard for it. Tires weren't even that bad. I was just overdriving. <laughs> it's just about the same as they were the uh, first run. I was just... That was crazy. Good one. Uh, oh, he's gone. I was going to say, great strategy. Yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. That was a, I want to see where he was running before... Pit stops. See how much he gained. If he was in third, or even if he was in third, like he almost was able to <laughs> overtake me or get second place if it wasn't for that last lap pass. Um, so we were up here hitting. Where was he? He was in third. Okay, how far back was he? Let me fix the camera. I don't know why it's, it's a weird angle. So, he was pretty far back. It was like the whole straightaway back. Half the straightaway. When did he pit in? Maybe, or, I'm stupid. When did he pit in? The whole point is that he didn't pit in. You doofus. Okay. Oh, why do my dumb moments have to be caught on camera? Anyway, let's watch the incidents. <laughs> Here we go. Lap number four. Probably gonna be some wall. Just barely. Nothing. Probably more, aren't gonna be too many. Not very many cars out here to cause incidents. And, uh, I mean, obviously it was green all the way. 
Hey, it's bright. <laughs> Looks like he's looking at his phone or something. He's heading straight for the wall. Just in a straight line. It's kind of interesting. He's like, oh, whoop. <laughs> Playing chicken with the wall. Did number three finish? And fourth? Curious, I didn't really see him out here. It's having trouble getting it turned. Right, just overdriving entry a bit. We're already on lap 59. Here's that number five on lap 78 being in front of us. I didn't think I was going to catch him, to be honest. I thought I got out-strategied by two people <laughs> in this race, and maybe I did still. I think I still did, but uh, at least we were able to get second back after the no-stop strategy worked so well for him. Eight still just sliding around a bit. And that was the race. That was good stuff. That was fun. I do like New Hampshire. And whenever you get some good guys to race with, it's some good fun, too. So uh, we'll take our P2. Lit a bunch of laps. But uh, I'm not too upset about losing it because uh, we just got out strategied and we still had a pretty exciting finish there. And uh, I feel pretty good about getting second back. So uh, fun race. I enjoyed it. Had a long, long green flag run. The longest you can get when there's not a caution. So... Uh, fun racing. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you in the next one.